Hey, so what's up guys? It's Terio Bakel with another video, just like I promised I would be. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Me Cool KD1 Android TV box. All right, so the reason I wanna show you, share this with you guys is because these days we hear that the most popular streaming device is the Fire Stick. So easy to get one of them now, everybody's selling them. Um, but I'm the kind of dude that I'm, I like options, right? If everybody's using one thing, I don't want to just use that device because everybody's using it, right? So I want to test the market. I want to see if there's anything out there that is just as good or even better. Um, and today that's what we're going to attempt to do. We're just going to look at this and see how it is. So we're going to unbox it, set it up, go through the specs and I'll share everything that I've experienced with it so far and you guys let me know what you think. So let's get right to it. All right, so first thing first, the packaging is very familiar, uh, very similar to your Fire TV sticks. Um, what else is there? Your Mi boxes, those devices. Very similar packaging, nothing too out of the way. So let's open this up and see what we have. Little tab here. All right, so right off the bat, we have the remote. First thing that I see, and it comes, let's see. Let's see if you can see. I like the rounded back. Right here, it has a power button, a mute button, um, Dedicated D-pad with the roll, feels very clicky, a center button. We have back, home, and the Google Assistant. So this is a Bluetooth remote, and it has Google Assistant built in. We have YouTube, we have Prime Video, and we have Google Play. Very interesting. This feels good. Um, feels similar to the Mi Box remote button layout is almost similar, but it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel cheap. In here, this, I guess this is our stick. This is our streaming stick, the KD-1. Um, yeah, this is your power. That's your power slot. What do we have here? Let's see if I can get this to zoom in. Uh, there you go. It's regular micro. USB has a probably a reset button here and a power light right here. What else do we have inside? Okay. This is of course your standard power brick. Um, yeah, power brick, nothing fancy. Some cables. This is a power cable and this also has something else on it. power cable with an IR receiver. That's different. That's the first time I've ever seen that. So this is it. This is what it comes with, other than the manual. Now we're gonna set this up and see how it fares. So let's go through some of the specs on this device, right? Um, reading through this box, all right, it says that this has an Amlogic S905Y2 quad-core ARM Cortex A53 processor. Has a ARM, or is it ARM? Uh, is an ARM G31 MP2 GPU, which means it should have decent graphics, should be an operative word. Um, it has two gigabytes of RAM, which means that this device should technically be faster than your, this is a third generation Fire Stick that I have here. It should technically be faster than this because if I'm not mistaken, uh, that only has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. All right. All right, so this has 16 gigabytes of storage, which is a lot better compared to the Fire Stick, which has only eight and only about five of that is usable. And after a while, after all the cash builds up, the Fire Stick becomes unbearable. Trust me, I know. All right, this has built in 2.4 gig, gigahertz and also 5 gigahertz dual band Wi-Fi. 
um, it has Bluetooth 4.2, which is not bad. It's not the latest, but not that bad. It supports DRM, Microsoft Play Ready, and Google Wild Wild Wide Vines. So nonetheless, um, this does has HDR support. It has Dolby Vision, Dynamic HDR10, and a regular HDR10, along with Prime HDR processing. Um, this supports 4K and 2K at 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second. Um, supports H.265 video codec and supports up to HDCP 2.2. Which means that's all of the fairly newer stuff, you know. Um, yeah. So in terms of apps, it supports all the apps that most of these devices um, support now. Uh, Disney Plus, Prime Video up to 4K, YouTube 4K, Sling, HBO Max, um, it has the official Google Play Store, which means you'll get official Android TV devices, Android TV apps, sorry. Um, also supports Google Movie, it says, but that's been phasing out, so yeah. A few things that I found that I didn't like this for, and this may hurt this, this device's chances, it doesn't have official um, Netflix support, which means basically it doesn't run the proper version of Netflix, and I know that's a very popular app. I personally don't use Netflix. Um, it does come with a few preloaded apps that I'm not too keen on. I also have a Mi Box um, 4K, and that's just pure clean Android, no additional apps. But those are the only few cons that I've found so far. And oh, and also for some reason. And if anybody has used this device before, let me know in the comments if this if you noticed this. But for some reason, it just seems as the picture is not as bright as the Fire Stick because I've switched between the two between all the devices, and it seems like out of all the devices, the picture is the color isn't as crisp. Now it does have some additional settings that you can play with. I haven't gone through all of those. It's my fault probably do that and see how it works but out of the box it doesn't seem as bright and as vibrant so aside from all of those technical stuff that I've just listed off this device can pretty much do everything that the fire stick does um, only difference is the fire stick has another has their own interface which I personally don't like because they have everything so restricted everything so tight um, if you want to side load an app you can't it doesn't look good on the interface I just don't like fire sticks interface at all but they pretty much do all of the same thing so you can side load all of your regular apps that you would use whatever it may be I won't list too much of them for obvious reasons but you can side load all of the apps that you may want to use and so that brings it down to to me that then says all right Using these devices, choosing these devices comes down to personal preference and how you feel about the experience and the performance of the device. Uh, me personally, I prefer an Android TV OS device over any Fire Stick, over the Roku. I actually never even used the Roku, I've only seen it. Don't like the interface. I can't enjoy. Um, using the device it seems it's hard to navigate so for me personally i prefer the android tv os interface um, the settings is much easier to deal with i will give fire stick the nod for their remote um, their alexa remote is by far the best part of that device um, but this remote also has its as its good features um, I can turn on all of my equipment, so my receiver, my TV, I can turn all them on once I've tied them into Alex, not into Alex, into my Google Assistant. But the Amazon Fire Stick remote does make it a lot more easier, right? Um, in terms of performance, this device is much faster, like I said. This device has a lot more storage, so your device doesn't bog down, doesn't get clunky and slow. Um, and that's just me pref that's just my preference. Um, some people just prefer the Fire Stick because it's what everybody's using. But nonetheless, I think this is a pretty good device. Out of a five, I would give this, let's see. Out of a five, I'd give this um, 
3.5. I'd say 3.5. Just for the fact that it doesn't have the um, official Netflix and the side loaded apps. But other than that, this can this does everything that I needed to do. Um, I use it now as a as a daily driver, meaning I use it all the time. And yeah. So listen. Tell me what you guys think about this device. Is this something you would be interested in trying out? Is this something that um, you think would be worth it? Are you looking for an alternative other than the Fire Stick? Maybe you, like me, don't like the Fire Sticks. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, is it something that you're interested in? Just leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Be sure to share this content, all right? Until next time, I have some other stuff I'm going to bring to you guys. But until next time, this is Tyrio. I'm signing out. Peace.